What's going on? Spartans King here bringing another episode. Today we're doing our climb to the top 200 once again. Look on screen. 210 in the world. We are almost there. I hope you guys are excited. Hope you're enjoying this series because I know I'm having fun. I'm in actually I'm in Masters 2 right now. So we're getting there. On screen I got Derek's raid. He is gonna go for some mad trophies here. And he's also going with hogs on a maxed out base. He did get lucky and find that single target Inferno, which was good. And he placed a perfect heal spell to save his troops right there in that little second double layer. But overall, he's doing a good job. Just watch him raid. I do have a few announcements for you. I will say within a few minutes of this episode, or maybe I'll spread it out. We'll spread it out, I guess. First things first, updates are coming out. I think the update's tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, guys. But it looks like if they follow their pattern, tomorrow should be the update since Pat did his final update today. And yeah, really, really interesting update coming out. Kind of excited for it. Right now, Derek's troops are on the top of the base. He is working his way around it and into the middle of it, hopefully, real soon. You can see his troops take out the storages, and I think it is going to go ahead and go for that town hall. I think he's waiting to drop his heroes, and that's probably a good idea to wait a little bit. So, he's doing a pretty good strategy with his raid. Definitely a very tough base to beat. He did drop his king. I don't know where his king's going. He is going around the base. It looks like, wow. Instead of going through any of those segments, this king has decided he is going to just walk around the base and be useless. He is going through a wall that doesn't even need to be gone through. Unfortunately, he thinks that wizard tower is a threat, so he wants to kill it. And <laughs> his troops are finally through the second layer. One more layer in at that town hall. He has dropped his witches to basically give some more HP up front. Definitely trying to give him some hit points up there. Trying to save his troops. He's got a wizard going to town. So pretty good odds he's going to win this one. There are only two defenses able to hit his troops. And with 16 skeletons per couple seconds here, he is pretty much safe. Let's see though if anything goes wrong. He did get the town hall. Let's get a little more and get out of here. Those wizards are so strong. Look how awesome they look. Honestly, wizards and witches are two of my favorite troops. My real favorite troop, though, is, of course, the goblin. As you guys know, I love Garch. They are so strong and so fast. Just love using them with the right strategy. 23 trophies. Great raid, Derek. Thanks for being in the clan, bro. Appreciate that loyalty. Guys, being 210 in the world is insane. We're about to get that 200. I know you guys are excited to watch that. Next episode, I promise we will be in the top 200 for it. And yeah, this has been a really exciting thing to do. I hope it's been as exciting to watch as it has been to actually push for. And I know my clan's having fun. Destroyer is attacking. He does not need much commentating. He is a professional when it comes to playing Clash of Clans. He is too good for anything. Oh, look at this actually. You see that? Look at that. He's got an old Christmas tree on this guy's base. This guy is a legit player. He's not just a gemmer. He's actually been playing for two years because that's the old Christmas tree. So that's crazy. That's always fun to find. I love finding the high level players who actually have been playing forever. Like that's actually legit. Of course, you probably have to spend money even if you haven't played that long just to get those walls. But overall, this guy is doing well on his defenses. And Destroyer is doing a perfectly executed go wee wee here. Look at this. Majority of the troops are in that first segment in the middle. His golem spread out to the second and third on the sides, and that's perfectly strategized. He dropped the heroes. They're in they're going for that middle. Wallbreakers got to the middle. King's in there going to town. He's gonna make it his home. He's trying to take that expo out. And now the town hall take it. Two hits. Third hit, and it's a charm. He's got the win there. Two, oh, not two star. Two star now. And he's got this Inferno that is going to target his king right now. Let's see if he can kill it before it does too much damage. And he did. Great job. Man, That when that king is level 40, the rage lasts forever on him. I mean, he lived through the whole center of that base before he even died. That's crazy. But the level 40 queen is in the center helping clean up behind that king. He's got some witches spawning skeletons trying to distract defenses so his king and queen don't go down too fast. And unfortunately, it looks like his witch is going to go down. Yep, one witch is down. Level 40 queen going to town here. And guys, I know you're probably thinking this last part of the update is going to hurt the king and queen. 
I don't think it will. I think it'll just make it more strategic. It will make it harder to use them. You'll definitely have to be more strategized when using the King and Queen, but it should stay about the same strength. They are basically going to make the King and Queen weaker. They're taking the HP and the attack away from the King and Queen on the higher levels, but they are increasing it for the lower levels. For all you people who are low-level King and Queen, your King and Queen will naturally be higher on strength and health after the update. For the people with high-level ones, like level 40s, they're going to decrease quite a bit with the health and the attack. However, the special abilities will get a lot stronger. By doing this, this will allow the attack to be very strategized and hopefully very interesting, especially since when you initiate their special abilities, they instantly are healed quite a bit. So that's kind of interesting. They get healing and they also get stronger when they're enraged or invisible. However, they aren't going to be as strong naturally. So that should be a definite change in the game 300,000 gold 100,000 elixir two trophies very solid for a 3900 level player great raid overall destroyer 98 percent 97 percent he would have got 100 but the time ran out so insane raid gotta love it he's always doing perfect raids here but guys i really am excited i think that 100 percent we could see a big change in gameplay between the valkyries being smarter between jump spells actually working in the way they should and that heroes being weakened but also giving stronger hero abilities that's going to be a lot to change the way the game plays i think it's going to turn out to be a very cool update the other thing that the, has changed with the heroes one last part of it is that heroes are now like towers on defense they don't chase you around the board they only attack you within a small perimeter when you come into range so with that lower health, they're going to be more like a tower that is hard to defeat rather than a crazy unit that runs around the board and just destroys your army or is easily taken out. So I don't know if it's going to make it harder to kill them or easier since they're going to be more like a tower rather than a random unit. I'm guessing it'll make it harder, but we shall see what happens. This raid is another one by Derek. He's doing a great job with Belinian. Look at him go, getting most of that loot, just going ham. He's trying to get it all. And he's going for that Town Hall, as always, guys. Look at that. The minions have taken the Dark Elixir. He's already got 5k Dark. That's insane. I wish I could find this right now. I could use a little bit more Dark. I'm at 75k, but always want more. He's dropped his King Queen here, and he's going to use them to go for that Town Hall. Hopefully, they can get it. I'm pretty confident he's got no problems here with it. And let's see the kings on the town hall. The other king is activated. Is he going to have a king-to-king -king battle? Let's see. He's got the town hall. And three, two, one. Boom. Town hall's taken. And oh, man. He stopped the raid at the king fighting each other. That would have been awesome. Anyway, 120,000 gold, 350,000 elixir, 5k dark, 10 trophies. Insane. Another great raid by Derek. Great job, bro. And guys, if you want to have a raid submitted for Epic Raids, send it to my email, king24412coc at gmail.com. And I will definitely make sure to get you guys featured in Epic Raid. If you do have Reflector, it makes it a lot easier to show your raids, guys, because people have sent awesome raids in that just were terrible quality. And you know what? I probably will do a, a, just a subscriber video for them. But I can't place them in my epic raid videos because I will get destroyed for that. So we had to wait till we build up enough to do one crazy subscriber epic raid video. Now, we also are going to attack with my own troops. So here's me attacking. I know you guys like to see me do an attack. I'm a decent player, so I will be using Barch. As you guys know, I love the low level, low tier level troops, basically. I like to use Barch, Garch. Any of that stuff really is my favorite, but I do use Go Wee Wee, Go Wipe, and Hogs occasionally. It's just, I always am farming, really, so I really prefer to use cheaper troops. However, look at these guys go, circling this base, doing a really good job here myself, and we are doing, if you guys, actually, if you guys don't know how to barge, here's a simple trick. Look for 40 buildings on the outside of the base. That's number one trick. Number two, make sure you drop one to two barbarians per building on the outside, plus two to four archers to follow them up and support them that's the main trick guys that's all there is to it watch any raid i do that's pretty much all i ever do unless i'm going heavy on one side of the base drop my clan castle here to get rid of that mortar i knew i had minions in there I'm gonna drop the king and queen already at 50 percent though king and queen weren't really needed 
but I'm gonna take some elixir from this guy. I want some, might as well. I'm gonna have to wait about two hours anyway for my, uh, or an hour to wait anyway for my spells. So boosting my heroes, I'll have them ready anyway for the next battle. King's down, Queen is trying to go attack the elixir, but she's shooting the air D instead. Super weird, she's been acting strange. She's invisible though, right before she dies, 59%. She could have got 60 here, but I'm gonna call it quits. Save a little bit of her health. 251,000 gold, 330,000 elixir, 1,300 dark with 9 trophies. Now, I think that's a really awesome raid myself, but I'm a little prejudiced since it was my raid. Let's move on to one more raid by me. As you can see, my defense, I don't know if you saw that on screen, my defense is doing not so hot now that I'm in Masters 2. It is not doing good. It is probably winning 1 in 5 and... I'm getting one star every time I get attacked, which is decent, but it's just like, it sucks. I wish I'd win more. As you can see though, look at these lightning placements, very carefully placed. I am trying to take out those other defenses while I take out that mortar. So three lightnings almost took out three buildings, got two of them, and I'm taking out with the other two lightning, I'm taking out that wizard tower. So the north side of his base will be the weak point for this attack. I'm glad I only dropped one Barbarian at a time there in the line because I just took out all the bombs this guy had in total. Four big bombs and the rest of his little ones went kaput, so that's always good. Drew out his clan castle here. It looks like his king is going to run out there too. So I got his heroes and clan castle activated. Let's bring these guys to the corner of the map while we still can because in a couple days we will not have any more gameplay like this, guys. Those king and queens will be towers. So... Let's keep circling this base. I'm going to go a little heavy there in that north corner. Going to drop a bunch more troops, and we're going to let them kill those heroes, hopefully, along with Clan Castle. Now, let's take out this bunch of stuff down here in the bottom right side and the south side of the base, where I'm going to take out those Dark Elixir mines. Get a little Dark Elixir. Got to get some of that. Always love it. And we are going to keep moving along, taking the rest of this base out. Not too hard to do, guys. If you haven't barged in the past, I would highly recommend it. It's a cheap, cheap strategy that you can win a lot with. Not just trophies, but also elixir and gold. As you saw in the last raid, I did go ham and take a lot. So it's not like you're going to be, oh, well, I can win, but I'm not going to win anything. No, not true. You can win a lot. But as you can see, we've taken out pretty much all the outside buildings. So time to move up to this north side. Let's drop the clan castle, get them going. As you can see, the minions came out, rocking and rolling. King and queen, ready to go to town. Let them rock and roll. Let's go. They're going to get in there, and we are going... Yes, they did. I thought they were going to distract him for a second there and go to the side, but they didn't. They are going right for that Dark Elixir. My king wants it. He wants the gold first, though. Dark Elixir has been stolen by the queen. Let's get a little more Elixir, and then we'll dip out. I can't get the Town Hall, it looks like, because my queen's all that's left, and she's dying a little quickly here. So we are going to just call it quits once this Expo goes down. Always need a little more Expo kills just because of that one achievement. Trying to get them all done. And this is going to be it, guys. We did not get the Town Hall, unfortunately. 57%. 2,800 Dark, though. Super awesome amount of Dark. Eight trophies. Pretty proud of these raids. They were decent. Let's keep going, guys, in the next video. But I hope you enjoyed this one. See you guys soon. Peace.